It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for the Breaking Bad universe, which of course includes Breaking Bad, El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, and also Better Call Saul. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the major deaths that happened in all of these three and I'm going to explain how the deaths tie together and at the end, I'm going to make some predictions about what I see about the franchise in the future based on what we saw at the end of Better Call Saul. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break it all down. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. So this is pretty much all of the major deaths that happened and the person that was directly involved in killing those characters. So starting off with the man himself, Walter White. Of course, Walter was responsible for the death of Crazy Eight, which of course happened pretty early on in Breaking Bad. And also he was responsible for for three deaths, two of which were pretty big. Of course, I'm talking about Gus Fring, Hector Salamanca, and Tyrus. Now, you could make the argument that he didn't directly kill these three individuals, but obviously, planting the bomb underneath Hector Salamanca's wheelchair was his doing, which means that he was a big part, if not fully responsible, for these three murders. And then at the end of Breaking Bad, Walter was also responsible for killing Lydia. Walter also killed Mike, which was a pretty big deal. Mike was one of the most likable characters on Breaking Bad and even more so on Better Call Saul. So this was a pretty major death that really made fans question Walt's motives and whether he's truly the protagonist of the story. He also was responsible for killing Jack, who was obviously part of the new Nazi group that kind of collided with Walt at the end of Breaking Bad. Now, let's talk about the people that Gus Fring directly killed. Some of this we actually saw on Breaking Bad, but some we saw on Better Call Saul. But, of course, the two big ones were Eladio the big boss who he actually killed on Breaking Bad, as well as Lalo Salamanca, who he actually killed near the end of Better Call Saul. But Gus was also responsible for killing one of his own guys, his right-hand man in a way, outside of Mike obviously, but none other than Victor. Moving on from Gus, let's talk a little bit about Lalo because of course he was responsible for the death of Howard. We saw that on Better Call Saul and this was potentially one of the most devastating and gut-wrenching, you could say, scenes in all of the Breaking Bad universe. Not the biggest, obviously, and not the most tragic, but one of the most tragic and devastating deaths. Moving on from Lalo, let's talk about Mike. Of course, Mike was responsible for killing one of the Salamanca twins who survived the attack by Hank. And of course, that happened on Breaking Bad, but he was also responsible for killing Werner, the German engineer. That obviously happened on Better Call Saul. Next, let's talk about Jack. Jack was obviously responsible for killing two police officers, Hank Schrader, as well as Steve Gomez. Now, Hank also killed two characters, two major characters I should say, one of which was a pretty major character in the Breaking Bad universe, none other than Tuco Salamanca, but he was also responsible for killing the other Salamanca twin after Hank survived the attack by the Salamanca twins. Let's move on to Jesse Pinkman. Of course, Jesse was responsible for the death of Todd, who of course killed Andrea, Jesse's girlfriend or one of his girlfriends and Jesse also killed Gail Bedecker. This was also another tragic death that happened in the Breaking Bad universe. 
Again, one of the most devastating and tragic deaths of the series. Speaking of Jesse's girlfriends, though, Jane, Jesse's other girlfriend, also died. But that was more of an overdose sort of situation. Although you could make the case that Walter was responsible for her death, but we won't go there. But Jesse obviously is alive at this point, and after the events of El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, he was on his way to start a new life, and he survived the ordeal of the Breaking Bad universe. So he is one of the few characters, one of the few major characters that is still alive in the Breaking Bad universe. So with that, let's talk a little bit more about some Better Call Saul characters and some Breaking Bad characters. Of course, we have Nacho Varga, who died of a suicide when he was cornered by the Salamancas, and he did it to pretty much protect Gus Fring. We also have James McGill's brother, Chuck McGill, who died of a suicide as well. Speaking of James McGill, a.k.a. Saul Goodman, he remains alive at the end of the story. So, obviously, at the end of Better Call Saul, he was arrested, but he is still alive, and there is a possibility that he will make a comeback at some point in the future. We also have his receptionist, Francesca, who is also alive, but I doubt that we're ever going to see Francesca back in the story. We also obviously have none other than Kim Wexler, who is also still alive after the events of Better Call Saul. So there is a possibility that she could also return in the story at some point in some way. We also have Hank's wife, Marie, who is also alive. She cameoed at the end of Better Call Saul, but she's also alive in the story. Now, when it comes to the Walter White family, Walt Jr. is also still alive, and also Walt's wife, Skylar White, is also alive as well at the end of Breaking Bad. So with that said, that's pretty much all of the characters, all of the main characters, and a breakdown of which of them are dead and which of them are alive. Now when it comes to the characters that are still alive, I feel like from these characters who we see here, Jimmy or James McGill, aka Saul Goodman is in jail and also Jesse Pinkman is on the run. Now when it comes to which of these characters I feel will make a comeback in some way, shape or form down the line, either in a new spin-off show or a movie, I'm leaning more towards Kim Wexler and maybe Skylar or Marie, but those are less likely. I think the more likely situation is that Kim Wexler is going to come back at some point in the future, and we might even see Jesse Pinkman return, but he'll enter the story, which is going to be Kim's story. So much like Better Call Saul was Saul's story, in my opinion, there will be another story or another show where it's going to focus on Kim, and it'll be her story, and in that story, we might see the return of Jesse Pinkman. But I don't think we'll see that anytime soon. I think, if anything, it'll be maybe five years down the line. But regardless, I do think that it's a high possibility that Kim Wexler and Jesse Pinkman will return in some way, shape, or form in the Breaking Bad universe. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. Bye.